Okay. Hello, my name is Elder Bernita, and it is so my distinct pleasure to be able to bring this word to you today. I've been tasked with the theme, Revelation for the Journey, and our scripture is Psalm 119 and 1, which reads, Blessed are the undefiled in the way, and who walk in the way of the Lord. Again, blessed are the undefiled in the way, and who walks in the law of the Lord. Um, again, our theme for tonight is Revelation for the Journey. <clears throat> uh, Psalms 119 and 1, when you study the scripture, especially the word law, we find that it has a dual meaning. Not only does it mean the word or the, the Torah, the written word of God, but it also means the revelation. So that tells us that we need both. We need the written word of God and revelation of the word of God to walk in the will of God. This has been my prayer over, over the duration of this fast and time of consecration that the Father released uh, revelation to us. But we get that through the study and the meditation of the word of God. We study the word of God. The Bible tells us us to uh, study the word of God to show our steps approved unto God. That that um, tells us that we must study the word of God. Not only do we study, we must meditate the word of God. When we meditate, that means to murmur, to repeat over and over again. That allows that word to get down, embedded inside our spirit so that we, we may walk that word out um, to its fullness. The scripture tells us to meditate on the word of God day and night and that it, that we will find our way prosperous as we meditate on the word of God and that we will have good success. So not only do we study, we meditate. And as we meditate, we allow the Holy Spirit to breathe on that word that we may be able to walk therein. That as the Holy Spirit breathes on the word, we receive a revelation of the word. What does that mean to my life and what does it mean to your life? And how do we walk that out? Um, so because we are in the midst of this time of consecration, I, I, the Lord has instructed me to just to declare some word over you. So to encourage you and to edify you for the work ahead. First, I'd like to share with you that the Lord loves you so much. He loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son for you, as we know from John 3, 16. Not only does the Lord love you, he has given you power. We have power to go in and take territory. So uh, the scripture tells us that Jesus told his disciples that he has given them power to tread on serpents and to tread on scorpions and that he has given her us power over all the power, not some, but all the power of the enemy. So we walk through um, this journey into our place of territory, to our place of promise with the power of the living God within us. Not only do we have power, we have a promise of uh, triumph. Uh, the scripture tells us in 2 Corinthians 2.14, that we can say thanks be unto God, for he always, not sometimes, he always causes us to triumph. So it is my prayer that these uh, scripture and these uh, edifications will help us strengthen you. I encourage you to continue um, and stay before the Lord and wait on him for a revelation of your journey into your place of promise. You are uh, victorious. You are powerful you are loved so there's nothing impossible unto you thank you for this time and i would just like to end with a brief word of prayer so father we thank you for your revelation we thank you for insight we thank you for understanding we thank you for inspiration father we thank you god that you go with us wherever we go that you have never failed us and you've never left us Father, we thank you now that as we journey into our place of promise, as we journey into territory uh, for your kingdom, we ask, God, that you bless your people, that you be with us, and you lead and guide us in the way that we should go. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We love you so much. And we say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Good night.